Shalom Alehem. Peace be in today. I am Messenger Daniel. This is in the name of Yahweh. Welcome back, Yahushua Ministries. Invite you to listen to that great FM.com every Sunday from 3 to 4 p.m. Shalom Alehem. Peace be in today. Shalom Alehem. I am Messenger Daniel, to the name of Yahweh. Welcome back, Yahushua Ministries, Shalom Adahem. Peace to every one of you, no matter where you are on the four corner of the earth. This afternoon or this morning, no matter where you are, it's always be a blessing to be on the land of the living. I'm here and that great FM.com. Even it's winning, it's not easy. But a soldier always die on the field, not in his house. My brother Big Mac is on the house also. And servants, no matter where you are, may Abu Yahweh bless you also. And to all my fellow Israel brothers and sisters, to all the viewers and the listeners, it always be a blessing to be with you. And to humble myself before Abu Yahweh in order to rely to you the truth. My friends, my fellow Israel brothers and sisters, there is so many confusions in this world. Honestly, I don't know where to start. Because according to Abba Yahweh, he declared that we have to come before him three times in a year. If we are the children of Israel, we have to understand the principle, the word of Abba Yahweh. If Abba was making a covenant with the children of Israel, not to the Jewish people, not to the black Hebrew Israelite, but to the house of Israel, to the 12 tribes of the house of Israel, the 12 tribes, not one tribe. But they always tell you the tribe are scattered on the focus. Yes, we are scattered on the focus of the earth. But today, if we are a Jewish or you are of the house of Israel, if you are black Hebrew Israelite, which one are who you are? Because the Jewish people are not based according to the scripture. The black Hebrew Israelite wasn't based according to the scripture. If you say you are the children of Israel, you are our chosen people, you must abide and have Yahweh what? The word of Abba must be precept upon precept, line upon line. Hello here and a little there. If anyone doesn't speak according to the word of Abba Yahweh, that means the truth is not in him. I feel some things is totally wrong in this world. Everyone wants to do what they have to do. But Messiah declared almost 2,000 years ago in the book of John 14, chapter verse 15, 
If you love me, then you will obey my commitments. My fellow Israel brothers and sisters are scattered on the four corners of the earth. Some of them don't even know who they are. They don't even know how to say Boketov and Ibu, good morning. Or Shabbat Shalom and Ibu. But they are the true Israelites. But today there is so many confusion between the Jewish people, the black Hebrew Israelites, the children of Israel. The name of Israel has been hiding for almost 2,000 years of religion deception. We find out ourselves there is the feast of Tabernacle. Though it is not a feast, there is a feast of trumpets. There is also the word trumpet in the Hebrew language. There is a feast of Rosh Hashanah. But now, everyone ready to celebrate Yom Akipurim, the Atomic Day. But supposedly in the time of Aaron's, there's a high priest at the high priest. May I open up your deaf ear, you can hear. To all of you who are on the four corners of the earth, may I give you spirit of understanding, wisdom, and insight. You can discern between good and lamp. Did our commendation of Israel and the time of Moshe? In the time of Aaron as the high priest, to our tongues and the behalf of the children of Israel, yes. But do we still live in on the time of Moshe? Do we still live in on the times of 613 laws? Or who is the new sheriff on town? And why so many confusions? The Jewish people with their own tent because they reject Yahshua as the Messiah. Remember, again and again, I declare to you, good picture. to you. The Jewish people as a cult, just like Catholic or Protestant, they are not our chosen people. Neither the black Hebrew Israelites, they are not of Abba Yahweh either, because they reject Yahshua. They deny Yahshua and the actions in the world, you can see, they deny Yahshua. But now they will stay with Yom Akipuim. When Abaya will declare to Moshe almost 20, 3500 years ago, which month is the first year of the month for them? I want to do the scripture, it's the month of Abib, or the first month. Supposedly, we have to always celebrate Atomic Day. Which month we have to celebrate Atomic Day? Did Adam give a specific time, just like he gave the Sabbath day or the Passover, anything Abayawi has to do? He do it control. You don't have no room for any man to pick and choose for him. But today, Humanity are so confused. Everybody wants to have their own ways instead of to follow the way of Abba Yahweh. First, we have to ask ourselves, what is Atonement Day? What is Yom Kippur? If anybody asking you one question, what is Yom Kippur? Everybody going to tell you, Yom Kippur is a Jewish holidays. They don't tell you it's an Israelite holidays. So there is a big difference. Are uh, we are the children of Israel or uh, we are Jewish? Or oh, we are black Hebrew Israelites? Do we see the covenant as being given to the Jewish people or to the black Israelites? No. Why so many confusions? Why so many fighting? Shalom alayhem to you words. May Abba Yahweh bless you. We as been deceived. When they say Jewish holiday, Jewish Yom Kippur, 
Jewish was Ashana. They don't say Israelite when the, the covenant was given to the Israelites. When we take down everything, let's ask ourselves what is going on? Why so many confusions? Is it because they want to deceive my people, Israel? After almost 2,000 years of religion and deception, as Abel has happened in a time and a season for everything under the sun. What is Yom Kippur? If anybody asks you, what's Yom Kippur? What is the meaning of Yom Kippur? What is Yom Kippur? Can anybody answer? Are you a Jewish? Or you are an Israelite? Or you are a black Hebrew Israelite? Which one of the three are we as to make a covenant 2500 BCE? Which one? Everything must be proved according to the scriptures. Not what they say to you. Not what they give it to you. Even they give you a blue, you see it's black. You accept that it's black. A time for change for my people. What is Yom Kippur? If anybody asking you what is Yom Kippur, what are you going to say to them? Yom Kippur, the day of atonement, is known as the set up as the holiest days for the Jewish people, not for the Israelites. Everywhere they talk about the Jewish, not the Israelites. Leading up to ends on that day, Jewish traditionals ask for forgiveness to our wrong to their wrongdoing from God, not from Yahweh, from Hashem, from Adonai. They are not named, so there can never be forgiveness for them. And from our fellow humans, beings, take the quiz. How much do you really know about Yom Kippur and the highest holidays of the Jewish people? The Israel has nothing to do with that high holidays of Yom Kippur of the Jewish people. What is Yom Kippur and how it is celebrated? American Jewish commentators to see it at their own times when they feel like. Jewish is to have Jewish, not Israelite. Is to have to transcend their physical bodies on Yom Kippur so that they can focus on their souls. Therefore, traditionally, traditionally, it's not a custom, it's tradition of men. Jews fast on Yom Kippur with friends from both food and drink for the entire 25 hours of the holidays, holidays. If it is holidays, that means you don't have to for your sin because that's holidays. It is also traditional to refrain from other earthly pleasure, such as beating and wearing leather shoes, something seen as a luxury and in ancient times. Many Jews, not Israel, choose to wear white symbolizing purity and rewards as a repent for the sin. Young people begins with the Optigrin's beautiful call at mother's service, frankly by two witnesses holding Torah to simulate a belt then. A Jewish court, the prayer teacher recites a sanctuary holds Yiddish formula releasing us from any wolf that we may fail to fulfill as a upcoming year. Today, yet again, are we are a Jewish? Are we are a black Hebrew Israelites or we are of the house of Israel? 
My question is which one? If Abel declared three times in a year, all flesh should come before him three times in a year. But if you take a look what's going on all over the world, there is no two times a year no more. So if somebody is lying, who is lying? Is it Abel is a liar or a lunatic? Did about change his mind? Is the man he want to be repent? When about say three, is it three? Why say three times and a year? All flesh, all flesh, not some. Three times and a year. Let's take the book of Deuteronomy, sixteen chapter verse sixteen. Abel, please. Let those who are still confused between the Jewish and the black Hebrew Israel and the Israel. Open up the mind, please. Let them listen. The book of Deuteronomy 16, chapter verse 16, declared it. Three times a year, all your male servants shall appear before Abel Yahweh, the Almighty Creator, and the place which is choose. And the place with it shows three times, three times. At the feast of Passover, unleavened bread and first fruit. And they shall not appear before Abiyah with an empty end, three times and a year. Listen carefully. There is 52 Sabbath a year, a part of the three times in a year. Passover. Unleavened bread and first fruit. Three times. That's it. There is no more knowledge. No in and between. If we follow the scriptures. But to those not follow the scripture, it's not for them. Because the good news of the kingdom of Abel is not for everybody. It's only for some. For many are called, only few will be chosen. When we figure out what is going on today. The, to be a sign is... He is a messiah, is three days and three nights. The dictate three days and three nights for late Friday afternoon to early Sunday morning without any proof, any evidence whatsoever. So they change the Sabbath day. They change the Passover appointed time. They change everything. Because for their own inconvenience. Asking, yes, you can put me down if you want. Go ahead, do it. Because the truth has to be revealed. Go ahead, keep me down. Go ahead. But you can see us, Abba Yahweh. The truth is the truth. Because Abba never make a covenant with the Jewish. But with the children of Israel. The truth must be revealed. No matter how many people is hurt or is hurt. Is that you declared that? In the book of Exodus 23, chapter, verse 14 again. Three times in a year, all your men are to appear before Abiyahweh, your almighty creator. Three times in a year. What those three times in a year? As I declare to you, I will declare again to you. There is 52 Sabbath a year. But there is three times a year every man should appear before Abiyahweh to celebrate the feast of Passover. Passover. Loving wet and first food. But today, things are changed. About change. Because everyone is sent to what men has to say, never is sent to Abiyahweh. Exodus 23, chapter verse 17, again declared. Three times a year. All your male are to happy before Abba Yahweh. When that again and again, three times. When Abba was said three times, a because he was drunk, because it's the old man is that no memory. Now and the one week you can say with four or five feet, this is not Abba Yahweh. Abba Yahweh is not the author of confusions, but author of shalom. Why those who proclaim themselves they are this would even understand 
when they say Yom Kippur, they talk about the Jewish high holidays. They start Rosh Hashanah. You don't say it's Israelite? No. My friends, listen to Abu Yahweh's words to you. Let Abu Yahweh teach you his way, not according to the men. We go further and then, let's see. Exodus 34, chapter verse 23. Three times, three times a year, all your males are to appear before Abu Yahweh, your almighty creator of Israel. It does say Jewish. You don't say black, Hebrew, Israelite. Are we there? You can hate me or you can't. That is the truth. The truth must be revealed. A time and a season will has appointed for everything. Whatever was hiding under the bushes, now is the time to proclaim on the top of the roof. Anyone of you can know, hear, and also understand. So many confusions. So many chiefs, but not enough Indians. My friends, listen. The book of Exodus 34, chapter verse 24. For I will drive out the nation before you and enlarge your borders. And no one will covet your land when you go up three times in a year to appear before Abu Yahweh, your almighty creator of Israel. Yes, again, you don't say Jewish. You don't say black, Hebrew, is with light. We call my people Israel. You've been deceived for almost 2,000 years of religion deception. They've been lied to you. You go to school, they lie to you. You go to churches, you lie to you. You go to synagogue, they lie to you. You go to university, they lie to you. Whatever you go, they've been lied to you. Never tell you one truth. A simple truth can crumble the mountain of lie. It's a time now for the truth to be revealed. If we listen to the word of Abu Yahweh, we don't read the Talmud, what the Jewish want to do, what the black Hebrew Israelites want to do. If we are the children of Israel, it is a must, no matter where you are today, on the four corner of the earth, to descend to the earth of Abu Yahweh, or you're all going to be perished, just like you were 35 years ago. I'm not here to have caught the cake, but to tell you, to proclaim to you what thou is sent me to do. I don't need the scripture. No, I don't need the scripture. Or you give me my mission, what I have to do. That I quote the scripture to you in order to let you know you are wrong. Why Exodus 34, chapter verse 24 declared that? It's big to the, no, not yet. For I will drive out the nations before you. Atatites, the Canaanites, the Zebusites, the Avites. There were seven big nations in the children of Israel. For Abba Yahweh, for I, Abba Yahweh, will drive out the nation before you and enlarge your borders, and no one will cover your land when you go up three times a year to appear before me. You don't say three times in a week. No, three times in a year. Don't read my lips with this scripture. It is written. They will lie to you. Those Jewish people, they are not nothing to do with the Torah. They don't read the Torah. They read the Talmud, the book they are made for their own self, for their own sake. They tell themselves, Jewish, Jewish. I'm not a Jewish. I'm Israelite from the tribe of Levites. They want to do something, but they have no instrument to do it. Because there is no high priest. The book of Leviticus, Vahigwa, that's my book, Leviticus, because I'm a Levi's. That's a special for the Levi's. It speak to the Israelites. That was the hour we speak to the Israelites, not to the Jewish or to the black Hebrew Israelites. Please, just listen. And be yourself. That's what you have to do. I don't make it. It is written for our own good. Leviticus, 23 started verse 34, declared it. It's a to the Israelites. Hello, you can read it. I don't make it. You don't say to the Jewish people. You don't say to the black Hebrew Israelites. Come on, wake up. 
and declare on the day of 15 days of seven months, on the day of what? On the 15, on the day of 15 days of seven months. You don't see the feast of Tabernacle, that's not true. It's the feast of Yom Kippur at the time. Begins and continues for seven days. That was a mistranslation. Today, we found ourselves in the times. Even the scripture has been got a lot of gap because the people who translate the scripture, they don't read it word to word because they don't have the spirit of Abu Yahweh, who is at the flesh. All the scripture have the same mistake over and over. Even since the beginning, they say, in the beginning, it's God creates. There is no God. There is no French or English. So I can't be God. And there is no heaven on the Hebrew language. They say, in the beginning, God created the paradise, I mean, the heaven and earth. There is no such word, heaven and Hebrew. Just like they removed the name of Abba Yahweh and Yahshua Amashiach, they conspire against my people and against Abba Yahweh also. First Kings 9, chapter 25 declared it. And three times in a year did Solomon offer burnt offerings and peace offerings upon the altar, which he built into Abba Yahweh, and he burned incense upon the altar. That was before Abba Yahweh, so he finished the house. Three times. First King 9, chapter 25. What was the, the three times? The three times was Feast of Trumpet. The Feast of Tabernacle was Ashana. What was the three times in a year? Maybe Abel do not know what he was talking. My friends, listen carefully. It's not my words, it's Abba Yahweh. Because so many diff but not enough Indians. Time for change. Today, let with the scripture, let with everything to perspective ways as it should be. The book of Vahigwa, 16 chapter verse 34. The book of Leviticus, 16 34. Declared. This is to be a lasting ordinance not commandment, for you. Atonement is to be made once a year for all the sin of the Israelites, not to the Jewish or black Hebrew Israelites. Again, are we there? And it was to be done as Abel will commit Moshe, not as men was going at the time. Because remember, atonement there was just a shadow for Yahshua to come. It's not, can you forgive your sin? It's to remind you how sinful people we are. But there's so many confusions. We must to listen to the word of Abba Yahweh. At the time, Aaron was the high priest and earthly the world. Listen. This is a permanent law for you. Not commitments, law. To purify the people of Israel. Do you was talking to everybody or you was talking to a leader? Today, every single person wants to do whatever they want to do, especially those black Hebrew Israelites. Every group they do whatever they want to do. Abel is not the author of confusions. This is a parent law for you, law, not commitments. To purify the people of Israel from their sin, purify them from their sin. Making them right with Abu Yahweh once a year. Moses follow all this instruction. Where is Moshe today? Who replaced Moshe? Hello, everybody who? Following all those instructions exactly as Abu has committed. Do those black Hebrew Israelites, do they follow any instructions? Where is the high priest? 
Where is Abi Awi's mouth picking me? Awi is not here. Moshi is not here. You want to do music, but there's no instrument. Confusion upon confusions. I was talking to one, not to everybody. But today, he speak to Aaron and his son and to all the Israelites and declare to them, this is what Abba Yahweh has commanded. Give the following commitments, instruction to Aaron and his son. Aaron was the earthly high priest. His son, I am one of his son. At the son was also priest. If you are from a tribe of Judah, you cannot perform or minister an altar for Abba Yahweh. Only a tribe of Levites was authorized to serve an Abba Yahweh kingdom. He speak to Aaron, and I will give to Moshe those instructions. He speak to Aaron, your brother, and to his son, and to all the Israelites, and declare to them, this is what Abba Yahweh has commanded. Where are those Israelites? But today, it's everything we're talking about, it's about Jewish and black Hebrew Israelites. All the verses, Quoting from the scripture. Omi me you who see what is going on. Omi me you who see there is black, Hebrew, Israel, or Jewish. In the book of Leviticus 17, chapter 3, any Israelite who sacrifices an ox and lamb or a goat and the camp and the stand or outside of it, listen carefully what I will declare to you. If any native Israelite sacrifice a bull or a lamb or a goat anywhere inside or outside the tent, anywhere, listen carefully. The one. Instead of bringing it to the entrance of the tent, of meeting to present it as an offering for Abiyahweh in front of the altar of Abiyahweh. That person should be considered guilty. Blood share, they have shed blood and must be out of the people, must be cut off. Listen carefully. Instead of bringing it to the entrance, of the altar to present it and offering to Abu Yahweh, that person would be as guilty as a mother. So it's a person that shed blood and will be cut off from the community of Israel. Oh, really? But today, Abu Yahweh has changed. Verse 5 and Vikra 17, chapter. This is to the Israelites. We bring up Yahweh the sacrifice they are now making in the open field. They must bring them to the priest, the high priest. Hello, where is the high priest? Vaikwa 17, 35. They must bring the sacrifice to the high priest at the entrance of the altar so he can present them to Ab Yahweh as a peace offering. Hello? Anybody home? So where is the high priest today? Where is the temple? Where is the altar? Where is your offerings for your sacrifice of your sin? This is to the end that the people of Israel may bring that sacrifice that they sacrifice in the open field. Listen, please. That they may bring them to Abu Yahweh, to the high priests at the entrance of the tent. 
Where is the temple? Where is the tabernacle? Where is the altar? Where is the sacrifice of your sin? The only meeting ends offered them as a sacrifice of peace of your sin for Abu Yahweh. But they should be high priests. Where is the high priest today? Why so many confusions? Many of you want to sing, but there is no strength enough. As Abba has declared, it's a time for change. The book of Ibu 9, chapter 7 declared that. But only the high priest, only the high priest, entering the second rooms. And they only once a year, and never without blood, which is offering for himself, for the sin, for the people has committed an ignorance. Hello, you will say Yeshua. How can you can atone for your sin? Who is a high priest today? If Mr. Shaw is not a high priest, I will be high priest. Because I am a liver. But I don't do it. I don't sleep with Yom Akipur because Yahshua died once for all. Those who have a hear to hear, please listen. We have to understand Abia words, not what the Jewish say, but what Abia we declare to show in its work. Ibu Nais chapter 7, but only the high priest. There is never be a high priest from the tribe of Judah. The Jewish people thinking they are from the tribe of Judah. Yahuda, Yahudim. The eye, that's what it's called, called Yahudim. But there's the sort Jewish. Jewish, Jewish. They wish, but they are not Yahweh's Jewish people. Neither black people, Israel, they are not of Yahweh because they do not observe the Torah. They do not follow other commandments. They start Christianity. They are worse in the Christianity. It's better for them to stay on the Christianity sex instead of for them to deceive my people the way they are. But only the high priests enter with the second wombs and then only once a year, once a year, and never without blood, would he offer it for himself first and then for the sin of the people of Israel committed in ignorance. You don't see? He went to the rooms, to the only holy temple, to the set apart rooms, to talk to Abba Yahweh. But today, even you want to sleep with something, where is the high priest? Where is the altar? Do we follow the instructions? Or Abba give the instructions? That's much than inwards. My friend, listen carefully. The book of Exodus 27, chapter verse 21, look at it. And the tent of meeting outside the veil that is in the front of the testimony, Aaron's, Aaron's, and his son only are to tend the lamps before Abba Yahweh from evening until morning. Only the priests, the high priest, ends the other priests. It's to be a permanent statue to the Israelite for generations to come. Only the Levites. I never see when a tribe of Judah has any relationship to minister to Abba Yahweh. I choose only the tribe of Levites as a priest, not the tribe of Judah. They say all the Negro in America, they are come from of Judah. If words, take a back seat. Do not know that's what you are. I'm a Levite, I'm a United States. Come on. My friends, Leviticus 23, chapter verse 28. On this day, you are not to be do any works. For it is the day of atonement when atonement is made for you. Therefore, Abba Yahweh, your almighty creator, will see that. But do you know about Yahweh? No. You know about Hashem, Adonai. So when you get atonement day, who do you going to ask for forgiveness? Hashem, Adonai, Elohim. Yawasha, TMH, Yawa, 
Ewa sa? Come on. Be honest. Be real. Don't act at hypocrisy. You are not to do any work at all. This is a permanent statue for the generation to come wherever you live. That was a permanent statue, not a commitment. Because remember, Yom Akipurim was a shadow for Yahshua to come. It's not an everlasting covenant. But you just it things. In the book of Numbers 29, chapter 7, you shall have on the tenth day, this is seven months, and certified convocation, and you shall afflict your soul so you not do any work therein. Seven months. Seven months. Hello. If the Jewish people just celebrate was Ashana. And now it's about to celebrate Yom Akipurim. Something is dead wrong. Too much confusion. If I will say to the children of Israel, Abib, the month of Abib is the first month of the year to you, Moshe. But today, why is it seven months? Why is it September? Supposedly, we must celebrate Yom Akipuri. Did they skip to about comment in seven months? Why is it seven is important? If you just celebrate was Asana, mean the Jewish New Year. After one week for Yom Akipurim, so it's already seven months because seven days is seven months. Hello, seven days is seven months. We just celebrate was Asana. Do they call Jewish New Year? There is nothing no one can take away from that. It is Jewish New Year. The world world know as Jewish no you was Ashana. But now use common sense. If this scripture declare that the children of Israel must be saved, I mean afflicted for the sin, not saved. That's something you could afflict for your sin. There is no party. That is a soul. A day for afflict for your soul. To ask him for forgiveness when there is no forgiveness yet. I come. After one week, come on. One week, there's gonna be Yom Akipuim. What is Yom Akipuim? Remember. There is only one way we can receive forgiveness is to Yahshua Amashiach. If we based upon the scripture, if we are asking anybody who knows about Abayawi, asking what is atonementing? Who can atone for your sin? I see that the Jewish people. They put a blood of turkey in the head. The blood of turkey cannot atone for your sin, my friend. The blood of a God cannot atone for your sin. There is no forgiveness and this abomination. What is atonement? Atonement is used in the scripture. To atone is to suffer. To atone, not to celebrate. To atone means to suffer. The penalty for sin. Thereby, removing the effects of sins from the repentance sinners and allowing him to her or to be reconciled to Abiyah. Yahshua was the only way, the only option, the only capable of carrying out the atonement for all people who have faith in him. Are we there? Are we in cement? Not Jesus, not Christ. Not Hashem, not Elohim, not Adonai, not Masi Masa. No. My friends, the time is because but there's a lot to say. But there's always be some time. 
Atonement is not something, as they say, it's not easy. It's to suffer. Because when you are singing, you rejoice, but when you are to pay, it's not something funny. Atonement is a process by which people remove obstacles and they will conceal it with Abba Yahweh. But it's supposed to they ask for forgiveness. The Jewish people or the black Hebrew Israelites? They don't call Yahweh by his name. So how can they can receive forgiveness of the same? The blood of chicken? Hello? The blood of the goat? Hello? Come on. Even the Catholic is better than those people. Because at least they believe Jesus was dying on the cross. His blood was there. But don't they start, they're so ignorant. By the action, they profess they know Abu Yahweh. By the, by the action, the way they live their life, they deny the, of the power to make them righteous. That's how stupid they are. My friends, there is so many times we act indifferently because the blind always lead another blind. Thanks to Abu Yahweh, I used to be a blind, but I am not a blind. Today, if we take the book of Hebrew, we say so many things, we cannot go to it right now. Because the time is a factor. We are on times. And we got to do whatever you get to do in order to deliver the message. For every high priest is appointed to offer gift and sacrifice, wherefore it is of necessity that men have somewhat also to offer. That means if our ones as the earthly high priest has something to offer for his son, that means every single Israeli people at the time must be bring something. Even Yahshua, when he be circumcised, he has to bring something to be circumcised, right? A gift. And he was not a sinner. Now, the main point of what we are declared to you is this. We do have a high priest who sat down on the right end of the thorns of Abel, the Almighty Creator and Paradise. It's Yahushua. It's not up to trap of Judah either, as they say. Verse 2. There is, there, there, Yahshua ministry and the paradise, the tabernacle, the true place of worship that was built by Abiyahwe and not by human hand. Hello. You want to make, make music, but yet there is no instrument. Verse 3, and since every high priest is required to offer gifts and sacrifices, our high priest, Yahshua Amashiach, must make ends offering too. That means, at the time of Abiyawi, in order for you to atone, the earthly high priest has to first atone for his sin, his family, then and the behalf of all the sons of Israel. There's only one high priest. There's no two. Our sons was priests. You cannot have to carry the church to see only priests with us. Only priests. Why? Every kind of church, only priests to with us. Why? There's a reason. But today, so many confusions. Why only priests to with us? Why? That's how the Levites. Let's see, anything going on. Hebrew, it's at the verse 4. If he were here on earth, if Yahshua was here on earth, he would not even be a high priest, not even a priest, if he was here. Because there's already high priest. The descent of high priest is our own descendant. Since there are already a high priest who offer the gift required by the law, by the law, not by the commitments. The law, 613 laws, is a symbolized Yahshua Amashiach. 
my friends, in verse 5, they serve as a sanctuary that is a copy, hello, and shadow of what is in paradise. Because Yeshua was still in paradise. He was not coming here yet. This is why Moshe was running when he was about to build the tabernacle. See, to eat that. You make everything according to the pattern showing you on the mountain. I said to it, make sure. I show you all the pictures. They will shoot it. I show you paradise. But you see inside the throne of Abiyahweh. I show him how to be the pattern, the tabernacle. It's not something to celebrate. But you celebrate it. They serve as a system of worship that is only a copy, a shadow of the real ones in paradise. That was Yeshua. For when Moshe was getting ready to build the tabernacles, I will give Moshe is this warning. Be careful, be sure that you make everything, everything according to the pattern I have showed you here on the mountain. That was the paradise. That was Abel's sanctuary. But Moses was there. Aaron was there. Where is the high priest? Where is the temple? Where is the altar? And Hebrew is chapter verse 6 declared. But now, Messiah Ushua, the high priest, has been given a ministry that he is far superior to the old priesthood. For he is the one who mediates for us a far better covenant with Abu Yahweh based on the better promise. Oh, really? Mm, that sounds to be true. In verse 7, if the first covenant has been faultless, there will have been no need for a second covenant to replace it. That means, as I declare to you, everything that I was showed to Moshe, you will still the children of Israel over 25, over 1500 years. That was a copy for Yahshua to come. Just that when there was a Mishraim, and the day of Passover, there was killed the lamb on the 14th day of Abib that symbolized Yahshua will die, will hang on the tree on the 14th day of Abib. That was a symbolism. Symbolize. As the same thing today, they told you on the scripture, if the first covenant has been faultless, there will have no need for a second covenant to replace it. So if Yeshua replace it, that means there is a reason to replace it. In verse 8, but Abel found fault in the people. Wow. And declare that they are coming, declare Abel Yahweh, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel. And it will be my people and with the people of Israel. But Abel found fault with the people because they can't hang in the truth. Abba declare, the day is coming, declare Abba Yahweh, when I will make a renewed covenant with the house of Israel. Israel and Judah. Judah is a son of Israel. There is no two houses, only one house, the house of Israel. There's no house of Judah. That's a misinterpretation. This covenant in the book of Ibu Nash, Nash, it's at the verse 9. This covenant will not be like the one I made with the ancestors. When I look, when I took them by the ends and led them out of the land of Mithraim, they did not remain faithful to me, to my covenant. So I turned my back on them, declare Abba Yahweh. Until today, it turned your back on you. Verse 10. But this is the renewal covenant. I, Abba Yahweh, we make with the people of Israel, the people of Israel, not the Jewish people, not the black Hebrew Israelites. 
On that day, declare Abba Yahweh, I will put my commitment in the mind that's spiritual. And I will write them down deep inside of them, written them that's spiritual. I will be their father and they will be my people. That means I don't care if you are black, if you change your name every second, if you not believe in Yahshua Amashia, there is no forgiveness of sin for you. You can make all the music, all the song you want, but you have no instrument because Yahshua is missing. Only Yahshua can forgive your sin. And they will not need to teach the neighbors, nor will they need to teach the relative saying, you shall know Abba Yahweh from everyone, from the least to the greatest, and know me already. Those people don't do any things for Abba Yahweh. Remember the book of Matthew, first chapter, verse 21, depicted. When said Gabriel declared to me, you shall give birth to a son. You should call his name Yahushua, for he will save his people from the sin. His people, who are our people, they're not the Jewish. Who are they? Do they are the Jewish? Do they are the Israelites? Who are they? Did anybody tell me? In the book of Acts, chapter verse 31, then Abayahweh put Messiah Yahshua in the place of honor at his right hand as a king and a savior. Abba did to so to the people of Israel who will be repent of the sins and the forgiveness. That means, listen carefully the language of Abba Yahweh. The book of Acts, five chapter verse 31. Abba Yahweh exalted Yahshua Amashiach to his right hands as a king and savior in order to grant repentance and forgiveness of sin to Israel. Are we there? You see me? Wake up. If you think Jesus can forgive your sin, you are a big mistake. If you think Asha, Yawasha can forgive your sin, you make a big mistake. If you think a block of chicken, a block of turkey, can you forgive your sin? If you think about say, but you are keep him, your sin gonna be forgiven. No, your are keep him is the thanks to remind how sinful the Israel was. It was never be to forgive your sin. Who told you you are keep him to forgive your sin? Who gonna ask for forgiveness? When Abel do not do, listen to sinners prayer. Listen to the high priest. Are you a high priest? You gonna listen to him? <laughs> you wasting your time. Remember, Abiyahweh has exalted Yahshua Amashiach and its right hand, right hand in power and authority to be king and savior at the same time. To give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sin to who? Not to the Jewish people, not to the black Hebrew Israelite, but to the children of Israel. I don't write it. It is written, right? Do I write anything? No. I don't make the scripture. My friends, listen. Matthew 1, chapter verse 21 declared, She will give a birth to a son. And you are to give him the name Yahushua. The name Yahushua. Because Yahushua will save his people from the sin. Did the Jewish people are about chosen people? According to what I will reveal to me, I will say, Hell. No. If you want to tell me something else, I'll see a big hell and a big no. No, they are not. Because they are not Israelite. They call the city they are living the state of Israel, but Abel doesn't give the state of Israel to my people, give the land of Canaan. There's a lot of people can United States if they promised land. That's it's not the promised land. Look to chapter verse 11. Today in the city of David, a savior has been born to you. And his name is Yahshua Amashiach. Today, today, a savior has been born in the city of David and Bethlehem, mean the house of bread. His name is Yahushua. That's only one way, my friend. And I'm going to go tonight with the blessing of Abba Yahweh. 
The book of Luke 24, chapter verse 37. Look at that. And in Yahshua name, in Yahshua name, Yahshua Amasha, the one you rejected, the one you refused to call by his name. I'm going to even to the black Hebrew Israelite or to the Jewish people. You don't call him by his name, right? When they see me, they want, they say, look at him. You can read the name. Of course, yes, I'm his servant. I declare his name. A messenger of Abba Yahweh. My friend, listen. The book of Luke 24, verse 47. And Yahshua's name, repentance and forgiveness of sin will be proclaimed to all the people on the first of the earth, beginning in Yahushalayim. Like it or don't like it, and just sit down on it. Just think about it. Luke 24, 47. And Yahshua names repentance and forgiveness of sin must be proclaimed everywhere on the earth to all the creatures, Jewish, Muslim, Protestant, Catholic, no matter what you think you are, if you don't accept Yahshua, there is no way you can go. And that should be start from Yahushalayim today. My friends, I thank everyone of you. It's the time now for me to depart today because my time is finished. As Apostle Saul declared almost 2,000 years ago, repent and be baptized in everyone of you in the name of Yahshua Amashiach for the forgiveness of your sin and you will receive the gift of Abiyah with the Spirit. My friends, you can make all kind of music you want, but your Yom Akipurim, your Feast of Tabernacle, your Feast of Trumpet, whatever you are saved with, is a nonsense for Abiyah. Three times in a year. Don't with my lips with this scripture. The Abba will bless everyone of you. Stay away from those abominations. Do not follow the way of the hidden. This is why Abel I destroyed them before you do. Don't let Abel destroy you this time. It destroy your ancestors. My friends, govern yourself. Don't follow blind people. Follow Abba Yahweh. May Abel bless you and be with you. I thank everyone of you. I thank that great FM that come in my body of Big Mark. And to all of you, my fellow Israel brothers and sisters, the viewers and the listeners, no matter where you are on the four corners of the earth, may Abba Yahweh bless you. I see you soon. Remember, every Sunday and Thursday, from 3 to 4 p.m. is the time. From 12 to 1 p.m. is the time. Download the, the app. It's free. I am Messenger Daniel. Until next time, Shalom Alehem. Peace be today. To the Rabbi Yahweh with most more love, blessing. And shalom. See you next time. I am Messenger Daniel. Say thank you to listen to that great FM.com. And until next time, to Shalom Alehem. Peace. Absolutely. Absolutely, man. That's going to do it for the Big Mike show for this Sunday. Join us on Facebook.